bakery in Florida. Reporting live in Warren, Tara Edwards, 7 Action News. Yeah, they say there's no such thing as a routine traffic stop, Tara, thanks. We're tracking storms tonight in your 7 First Alert forecast. You could wake up to the rumble of thunder. 7 First Alert meteorologist Chris Edwards standing by over at the weather map right now with a, a look at what's going on out there, Chris. And Stephen, that wake-up call could come a little earlier than you would like it to. Anytime after, oh, say about 2 in the morning, we could have that all the way through about 6 or 7 in the morning. Here are the scattered showers and storms, and really there are two main clusters. First of all, none of them are severe right now. They're not bringing 60 mile an hour winds or damaging hail. However, as they pull into Grand Rapids, moving to the southeast, and in another cluster that's well to the north of Saginaw, they are producing a whole lot of lightning show you this view and wherever you see those little white areas that is a strike of lightning and there's a tremendous amount of it with them as they move in here lightning and thunder will both likely be a significant issue it could be vivid lightning we've got lots of warmth still feeding these storms these are temperatures now by dawn they will get down to about 70 a little cooler in the northern and western suburbs that's the front coming through and that's going to make for a big difference as you make plans over the next couple of hours still just steamy we watch the storms to the north, but after 2 or 3 in the morning, a spotty shower, isolated thunder around in the pre-dawn, but then drying as we move through the day, and a northerly wind. I'll have the first alert storm threats and a lot more coming up. All right, thanks a lot, Chris, and count on the 7 Action News morning team for up-to-the-minute weather and traffic conditions. It starts at 4.30 a.m.